Hello everyone, we meet again in the duration of 22 hour channel. Let's take a few minutes every day to listen to the hottest news, the not able events that have taken place on 22 hour channel. In today's news, let's go through the main North Worthy contest right away. Dear Sir Slash Madam, from 8 o'clock on Friday to 3 o'clock on the past Sunday, the city of Bartring experienced heavy rainfall with significant rain occurring in various areas. In response to this natural disaster, the Municipal Party Committee and City Government attached great importance and promptly deployed emergency measures for flood response at Level 2. Lai Kuang, Secretary of the Municipal Party Committee, Chu Tian, Mayor, and Ding Goshu, Deputy Secretary of the Municipal Party Committee, issued their first important directives, emphasizing the prioritization of flood control and rescue efforts. Simultaneously, they are committed to ensuring effective disaster prevention and mitigation measures, safeguarding the lives and property of the people. The wide amplitude of rain, substantial precipitation, and prolonged duration of rainfall have posed challenges. Out of the 90 rainfall measurement stations within the city, 52 stations recorded rainfall exceeding 200 mm, and 22 stations registered rainfall exceeding 300 mm. Notable measurements include 459.5 mm in Harbin, Namjong District, 426 mm in Hawaii 2 Village, and 416.5 mm in Kimbut. The water level of Vuongjia Chai in Binchuang District reached 306.5 meters, surpassing the warning level by 7.73 meters and the safety level by 2.3 meters, with a flow rate of 30,000 cubic meters slash s. By 3 o'clock on Sunday, the heavy rainfall had affected 1.32 million people across three districts and one ward in the city to varying degrees. About 250,000 individuals had to be urgently evacuated, with nine casualties and 156 people injured due to the natural disaster. Flooding has occurred on three national and provincial routes at 16 location, including the Botring, Namjong segment of Provincial Route 101, the Botring, Bin Shuang segment of Provincial Route 202, and the Bok Engi segment of Provincial Route 302. Additionally, 32 rural roads at 82 location, including Bin Shuang, Bok Engi Bridge, Langkau, and Tuangam, have been submerged, leading to disruptions in mobile signals between Bin Shuang and Namjong. The heavy rainfall has caused flooding in many towns, damaging critical infrastructure and agricultural properties. Following the disaster, City leaders visited districts and counties to organize rescue and relief efforts. The municipal and district-level party committees, governments, and departments have been actively engaged in frontline flood control and rescue operations. The water level of Vuongjia Chai in Binchuang district reached 306.5 meters, surpassing the warning level by 7.73 meters, with a flow rate of 30,000 cubic meters slash s. Approximately 1,319,900 people were affected to varying degrees, with 250,000 individuals being evacuated urgently, resulting in nine casualties. According to reports from the Civil Affairs Department of some cities, as of 5 o'clock on Sunday, the heavy rain and floods that started two days prior had caused disasters in seven cities and 20 districts and counties within this province. To address the situation, the National Disaster Reduction Committee and the Ministry of Civil Affairs have initiated a four-level national emergency response for disaster relief at 5 o'clock on Sunday. An emergency response team will promptly arrive at the disaster-stricken areas to provide guidance for disaster relief. The Provincial Disaster Reduction Committee and the Provincial Civil Affairs Department have activated a three-level emergency response for disaster relief in Tu's Wyan Province at 4 o'clock, dispatching teams to the most heavily affected areas to assess the disaster situation and guide relief efforts. The floods have not only submerged Binchuang but also flooded the Aichao and Botring highways. The road from Binchuang to the town, except for Wonsan Town, has been flooded, resulting in all road bridges being submerged. Earlier, on Saturday afternoon, all officials of Binchuang district government received an urgent notification that Binchuang would face a new heavy rain spell, and all staff members were placed on standby at any moment. By Saturday evening, heavy rain began to pour throughout Binchuang. 
Starting from 6 a.m. yesterday, all officials and workers were deployed to knock on every household door to ensure no one was trapped inside and to assist residents in moving their belongings out. Before the peak of the flood arrived, all residential houses in the historic district were relocated to safe places. At 2 p.m. yesterday, the water level in the Bok Harbor area of Binshuang District reached 306 meters, surpassing the warning level by 7.73 meters. Hydrological data indicated that this was the largest flood event Binshuang had experienced since 1847. At 2 p.m. yesterday, the flood and drought control headquarters of Binshuang District was extremely busy. The flood water was 3 meters deep at the feet, and the river was roaring. By 3 p.m. yesterday, the water level in the Bar River had risen to 306.2 meters. This data is only preliminary estimates. Water measurement gauges were submerged, and hydrological stations across Binshuang were also inundated. The current water level and flow rate can only be estimated, according to an official from the Binshuang Defense Office. Ladies and gentlemen, at 4 p.m. on Sunday, the Flood Control Office of Tu Swine Province learned that the heavy rain that started on Friday evening had caused serious disasters in certain areas of Tu Swine, resulting in two deaths in Botring City and five people missing. The heavy rain is still ongoing, and the Kukjong, Bakar, and some of their tributaries have exceeded the warning levels, with some residents being surrounded by floods. The heavy rain, which started at 8 p.m. on Friday, is still continuing in Tu Swine. By 8 a.m. on Sunday, Botring, Kuang Nguyen, UC Duong, Thano, Ai Chao, and other places have experienced heavy rain, with some areas experiencing extremely heavy rainfall. According to statistics, there were 150 stations in 46 districts with heavy rain, and 67 stations in 23 districts with extremely heavy rain. Among them, 34 stations in Botring, Kuang Nguyen, and Namtring had accumulated rainfall exceeding 250 mm with the highest being the Hobbin Station in Namjong District with 393.6 mm. Affected by the rainfall, Kukjong, Bakar, and some of their tributaries exceeded the warning and high water levels. As of the current moment, the heavy rainfall has caused severe disasters in Botring, Kuang Nguyen, Yusi Duong, and other places. In Sun Hardown, Namjong District, Botring City, and Liu Lam Town, Barchow District, houses collapsed due to rain, resulting in one casualty. At around 2.30 a.m. on Sunday, a sudden landslide occurred in Baofong Village, Kuang Mon Town, Namjong District, causing the collapse of six houses and sheds, with five people missing. According to reports from the flood control offices of Botring and Dai Chao, over 100 residents and more than 200 students in Bok and Gi Town, Binshuang District, and other places were stranded due to the flooding. Some people in Zhonglin Town, Aitian District, were also trapped by the floods. The Flood Control and Drought Relief Headquarters of Tu Zhuang Province issued instructions to the Tu Zhuang Provincial Armed Police Force and the Flood Control and Drought Relief Headquarters of Aichao City and Kuang Nguyen, requiring them to immediately organize rapid response boats and corresponding personnel to Binshuang for emergency relief efforts. Now, the Armed Police Force of Tu Zhuang Province has mobilized over 250 personnel from Min Duong, Kuang Nguyen, and Ai Chao to quickly reach the disaster-stricken area using rapid response boats. Additionally, the Provincial Flood Control Office and the Provincial Emergency Office of Tu Zhuang are coordinating with the Thano Military Region to deploy helicopters for rescue operations. Ladies and gentlemen, over the past two days, landslides have occurred in Kamnam, Kamtuk, and NHA and in Tu Zhuang due to heavy rainfall. Some villagers lost their lives due to landslides that swept them away, while others were buried under collapsed houses. A video shared by netizens has caused shock. According to official media of the People's Republic of China, on Wednesday night, a landslide disaster occurred in a village in Moangtown, Haha District, in the Tibetan Autonomous Region of Kamnam, Kamtuk Province. Two people died, two went missing, and seven were injured. Currently, over 300 residents from 76 households have been relocated for resettlement. Live footage shows a powerful landslide destroying numerous houses and a large amount of soil engulfing the village. According to official reports from the media, at 4.30 p.m. on Tuesday, due to heavy rainfall, flash floods and landslides occurred in Angolong Town, Baohong District, NHA and City, Tu Zhuang Province, 
resulting in some houses being damaged. Local authorities are organizing the evacuation of threatened individuals. Due to extremely adverse weather conditions, traffic control has been temporarily implemented on National Route 351 from Baohong, Luang Hakao to QK White Town and Bintring Tri, and on Provincial Route 432 from Baohong, Luang Hakao to Long Ong Town. A video shared by netizens depicts landslides and floods pouring into the river, causing extensive damage to houses along the riverbank. Ladies and gentlemen, yesterday on Saturday, many areas in Zhang to experience drear heavy rainfalls. Taichao and Zhangyan recorded record-breaking rainfall, causing many rivers to overflow and directly flood the towns. The city's drainage system has completely failed, and residents are paddling boats on the streets and fishing right in front of their homes. According to reports from mainland media, from 2 o'clock on Friday to 2 o'clock on Saturday, heavy storms occurred in the central area of Jiangtu, with 317 mm in Taichao, 283.7 mm in Zhongyan, 266.4 mm in Nanyukao, 259.2 mm in Zhongo, and 256.7 mm in Duongshao, all of which are unprecedented in observational history. According to reports, both Taichao and Zhongyan have broken records for the highest daily rainfall in history. This is also the first time in observational history that such heavy rainfall has occurred. Duongshao ranks second in historical precipitation data. The water level of all rivers in Taichao has surged dramatically, with some rivers overflowing their banks and directly flooding the urban areas, submerging streets and inundating the city of Taichao in water. A local net is in described this scene, stating that the Chuthin River, a large river flowing through Taichao City and connecting to the Duongtu River, has been completely submerged this time. According to the physical properties of contained objects in physics, it seems unlikely that the Duongtu River is also flooded. Videos posted by local netizens show residents paddling boats on the streets. A similar scene has also appeared in Duongchao, where the entire city is covered by a vast expanse of flood water. Fish are swimming freely on the main roads. Dear ladies and gentlemen, heavy rains and floods are causing severe damage in northeastern China and South Korea, affecting tens of thousands of people. According to Chinese media, the floods have also impacted border areas of North Korea. China's central television CCTV reported that large areas in northeastern China have been submerged during the weekend due to continuous heavy rains. According to a newly released report from the country's civil affairs ministry, the floods have affected over 650,000 people in Katlam and Haklongjiang provinces. It is known that a Chinese patrol unit was deployed to the border areas over the past weekend at the request of the North Korean government and successfully rescued 20 North Korean individuals who were stranded near the border. Areas along the border of North Korea and China have been continuously suffering severe damage from floods caused by prolonged heavy rains. The United Nations report indicated that over 500 people were killed or missing in such disasters last year. Meanwhile, heavy rains poured down on South Korea's capital Seoul and the central region of the Korean Peninsula yesterday, causing flooding on roads and multiple railway lines in the area. Some road sections were submerged, prompting closures for safety concerns. Railway operations were also temporarily suspended on certain routes connecting Seoul to Incheon. According to the Korea Electric Power Corporation, the heavy rains accompanied by thunderstorms led to power outages in dozens of areas across the country. Our news bulletin for today concludes here. Please leave any contributions or comments in the section below. If you find this informative, please give us a like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for your attentive listening, and we'll see you again. Bow with the detailed summaries of the key highlights of the day from 22 hours channel. Thank you all for paying attention and staying tuned until the end of this video. Please leave your comment section in the comment section below for us to respond in a timeline manner. Goodbye and see you again.